turn into a word processor. If you associate the word willpower with negative things, such as harsh self-denial and punishment, you will weaken your resolve to build it. To increase your resolve, it's often useful to think of new word associations. To weightlifters, failure is success. Unless they lift a weight to the point of failure, their muscles aren't growing. So they have programmed themselves, through repetition, to use the word failure in a positive sense. They also call what we would call pain something positive, the burn. Getting to the burn is the goal. You'll hear bodybuilders call out to each other, roast them. By consciously using motivated language, they acquire access to inner power through the use of the human will. Zen philosopher and scholar Alan Watts also used to hate the word discipline because it had so many negative connotations. Yet he knew that the key to enjoying any activity was in the discipline. So he would substitute the word skill for discipline and when he did that he was able to develop his own self-discipline. Language leads to power, so be conscious of the creative potential of the language you use, and guide it in the direction of more personal power. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.